Hello. It goes without saying that the topic of this year's workshop, Transforming Humiliation and Violent Conflict, is an important one. But it also goes without saying that it's not easy. Um, it has been tried before and it doesn't always work. Well, I'm convinced that you've got some of the essential tools needed to make this transformation come about. And one reason that I'm saying this is that I've been following Dr. Lindner's work for many years and have always been astonished by the originality and struck by the importance of what it is that, that she's doing. Original, because uh, humiliation it has been undercommunicated. It has been less focused on than what would have been uh, desirable in the study of violent conflict, ranging from ethnic uh, to other forms of conflict. Humiliation is a close relative to resentment. Resentment frequently leads to the loss of language. We stop talking to each other and we resort to violence instead, either towards others or towards ourselves, as in the case of many indigenous peoples around the world who have been told for years and even for decades that everything they stood for, everything they represented is worthless. So they should just forget it, leave their legacy, their tradition, their ancestral knowledge behind and try as best they can to become like ourselves, the hegemonic uh, colonizers. And as a result, in many indigenous uh, groups around the world, there are very severe um, social issues to do with uh, suicide, alcoholism, domestic violence, many social ills that could have been prevented had we understood the psychological dimension of this form of domination. So, um, well, no, I think my, my main message in this short intervention is that, well, in classical Marxism, uh, there was a great emphasis on the means of production. You know, the, the ownership to the means of production should be democratized so that workers should have a, an equal share in the stewardship or in the managing or in the ownership and the profits of uh, the productive apparatus. What is uh, paramount today in the information society is uh, a democratization of the means of communication, allowing other voices than usual to be heard, making sure or trying to make sure that they are treated equally and respectfully and uh, not least one of the great scarce resources in today's world, which this network can actually do something about. One of the great scarce resources is the ability to listen to others. Many of us are really good at talking, but we're not equally good when it comes to listening to others. And people who are not being listened to and are being overrun, be it by the forces of the state or by some dominant group or simply by globalization will uh, frequently react by feeling humiliated, becoming resentful and uh, resorting perhaps to desperate measures in order to, uh, to rectify their situation. So we need to get together and talk on an equal footing, listen to each other and hear each other out and make sure that we move towards a more equitable uh, world. And I believe you have some of the tools that we need to, for this to come about. So I wish you the best of luck.